These documents are fascinating. The level of detail is remarkable. Y you say you're only an amateur in entomology? What exactly got you into the field? I found my love of insects through my son. Well, your research has been all the rage at the university. I mean, people won't stop talking about it. And I'll be honest, I think a lot of people were jealous that you reached out to me for help with your studies. Not too often an entomologist gets a house call. <laughs> I'm a good father. I love my son. But after that night, his body was just lifeless. I don't know how it happened. His body just began to decay. He wouldn't leave his bed. I would peek into his room and try joking around with him and say, Why are you so sad, kid? Like I used to. But by that point, he wasn't responding. His body was still decaying. They don't tell you about the stench when the process is happening. <clears throat> I will say it's getting rather late. I should be heading home. We could continue our discussion over email or... Any good father would have done what I had to do. His friends kept coming over asking where he was, but they wouldn't understand. No one would understand that he couldn't move. He wasn't himself. That's why I took him out of that school, threatening to fail him for not showing up. What do they know? I was the only thing that could keep him safe. No one needed to know his secret. <laughs> Imagine you lost your childhood to, to some kind of fluke, some accident. Sir, I'm sorry for your loss, but please let me go. Loss? <laughs> you think my son is dead? Why would you say that? You think I killed my son, don't you? I'm the only person that can protect him. No, no, I, I never said such a thing. You're just not thinking straight. Please let me go, and, and I won't tell anyone about this. I had to become my son because he was transforming, you see? He had lost his sight by that point. I would wave my hands in front of his eyes to no avail. Medication didn't seem to help. The names just got longer and longer. They were just trying to give him normal pills. But that's not what my son is. He's the farthest thing from normal. He wanted to play his favorite video game, but couldn't. His hands were mangled, practically non-existent. Let me lead you, fucking psycho! So I would play the game for him. And I got good. I got so good. We, we, we would upload YouTube videos. Before you knew it, we had fans. People loved our videos. I would play with his friends, and I could see fragments of my son's happiness reappearing. We were becoming a family again. But social media was so cruel to me and my son. They would say so many hurtful things and, and accuse me of everything. The very fan base we built was turning on us, you see? You, you need help. I, I know. That's why I called you. The pressure and the hate from all of these people. It got to him. He started to isolate himself again. It was the last time I was able to see my son. Maybe you can help me figure out when I'll see my son again. You're sick! Don't go in there! <coughs> oh. oh, God, the smell! Where's the light? <laughs> oh. oh my god Shut off the light It's okay Daddy's here Daddy's got you How much longer will he be in there? It's been months I miss my son He's emerging What? <laughs> What is this? My son!
Beautiful. You're beautiful. Look! What's that thing? That's my son! <laughs>